Welcome back, everybody. Derek Sue, your East Oakland advocate. Well, we're out walking this morning. I want to show you what the thieves are doing uh, right here. Uh, we're at the AT&T yard. This panel behind me, thieves tore all of that out and got into the service yard and stripped a dozen service trucks from AT&T. Um, and they've been under attack here for the last few weeks. In fact, I've had to call 911 a couple of times. And I'm going to show you why, because we're coming up on one of the first things that uh, we came across, or that AT&T has been uh, putting up with. And the thieves are using cordless grinders. Cordless grinders to cut the steel fence. Right here. Look at that. They use the grinder to cut that fence right there. And then, on top of that, they used the vehicle a few months ago to do this, the ram to get inside the building. And, and you, you can see that it's all pulled away. And this is on 75th Avenue, and, and it's been under attack. And if, if they're not cutting the steel, they're setting fire. <laughs> Look at that. And that's only one of the fires. They set this whole wall on fire last weekend. Another fire. And then we're coming up to another big, big burn zone here. And I mean, look at that. Burn the walls. Good thing it's steel. And then you can see right here. Again, you know, they cut the other AT&T, they put some wire on there to keep people from getting in, but they had cut this whole section out. I mean, look at this, all the way down, all the way around and back up. They cut all of that and got in. And they've been attacking all of these trucks because they know that there are thousands and thousands of dollars of tools and equipment here on these trucks. And at night, AT&T doesn't have a, a guard anymore. They used to have guards here. And I don't know. Ha, mama, no. They used to have guards here that uh, watched the place. And then they, they stopped the armed guards. And they put in these stupid electronic uh, robots that speak and tell the people that they're being recorded and like they like the thieves care but uh anyway AT&T service yard this is the Oakland service yard and there are a lot of trucks here with lots and lots of expensive and valuable equipment on board <clears throat> and these thieves are just breaking in here taking everything like they don't care because there's no consequences. Really, there's there hasn't been any consequences for these thieves. And in fact, my former homeless camp, AT&T was forced to put several cameras over there because, the, like I said, there are no homeless people over there, only criminals. They literally cut a hole in the fence over on 77th Avenue and went in there. Um, and then uh, they broke into six trucks on that one because the trucks are parked right on the other side of the fence. So now they have cameras. AT&T put cameras and they put intense lighting over there right on top of the, the criminals, which is good. But uh, whether that's going to deter them or stop them, we don't know. But uh, Oakland needs to do a lot better. They need to shut that camp down. They need to get rid of all those criminals over there on 77th Avenue, like I've been saying. 
and that'll alleviate some of the problems here in the neighborhood. We're, we're cleaning the neighborhood up slowly. We got rid of a, a majority of the criminals six months ago. Four of the criminals were shot and killed. Uh, so we don't care about that. We want them gone. doesn't matter how they're gone. Uh, but uh, then we got rid of the illegal gambling den that was causing all sorts of issues here in the neighborhood. And so it, it's, it's just been uh, a slow, slow go uh, cleaning up the neighborhood here. And we're going to go over to one of the areas that AT&T had, uh, I called 911 on, on this uh, person who was cutting the steel fence out here. And police finally showed up, but then the thieves were long gone. But I want to show you what's uh, going on. So I'm going to go over there and I'll be right back. Okay, the other night I called 911 on this uh, person who was cutting the fence here. And as you can see, he almost got all the way through. He just had that little bit right there left to cut, and that whole panel would have come right out. But now we have cameras up here. So they're going to record these thieves that come here to do to steal, to break in. You can see that they made several cuts there. AT&T has just been fighting these thieves. And it's cameras like that that are over on 77th Avenue. But you see there's a big a light to really brighten things up here so that they get a good look at them. And it looks at this side of uh, the wall and also the other side where it'll show where people are stealing stuff. So it's just a shame that OPD is not doing what they need to be doing. So those are only a couple of the things that are going on here in East Oakland. And even this location right here, uh, this site, which uh, for a while was uh, a cannabis grow house. It's no longer a cannabis grow house, but yet the thieves don't, don't believe that uh, we're doing something else. And so... Uh, there's been several attempts here in the middle of the night to break in, and we have uh, security 24-7. We've got uh, video cameras, and we we're armed. We're armed down here because the criminals are armed, and when they come in, they start shooting first and, then ask, and never ask questions later. Uh, and so uh, when things start happening here, we're ready for them. Uh, and myself having uh this is why i i'm also one of the the people here in charge of the security and, and so being a 20-year experienced uh, person uh, with counterterrorism and then also uh, fighting criminals uh, when i was homeless uh, gives me a pretty good leg up on, on stuff here and, and we've uh, shot at uh, several criminals here we uh, we loaded one car up with uh, lead uh, from our um, our weapons uh, who tried to break in they were uh, cutting our our fence and, and uh, in the middle of the night uh, with a grinder and so we went out there and just lit them up but uh, things are like that are are happening and, and where there's uh, here in East Oakland, uh, there's not a lot of uh, guards or, and security here. And, and in this area, uh, it's a dangerous area down by the Coliseum. Uh, Oakland doesn't have enough police officers at any time. Uh, and the criminals are, are armed. And, and so 
when we have somebody come over our fence or attempt to break in, you know, we shoot first, ask questions later. And that's how it's got to be until Oakland resolves the criminal problem. And if we have to shoot some criminals, we're going to do that. Thanks for joining me today. You see what's going on in East Oakland, and it's not good.